Hey guys, we're back at it again with my Ski Doo 440. We're gonna do a full whip down and uh, pretty much take everything out because I'm ordering the pistons today because they're really hard to find. So, ripping this thing down, and then I'm gonna wash the whole body. I'm gonna paint some, repaint some stuff. I was thinking of repainting these covers. Paint them black, sand them down, or wash them. Well, yeah, let's. I'm gonna start everything down. Let's get to it. Oh, and what I forgot to tell you guys about this this build is that uh, I'm basically tearing this down and doing a full restore on it. Well, let's hope so. Um, we're going to change the gear oil because that is nasty. And uh, we're going to have a full rebuild for this. Wash it down because as you can see... Well, as you hear, took out the motor. Don't want to spend that too much. Um. Well, here she is. Uh. Yeah, it's a bit dirty, if you can see. I'll show you the motor. So here's the whole motor. You can see all this. Here's the body. That's why I wanted to clean it, cause I knew this was in here. Then while we're gonna clean it, we're gonna clean this chain case. That oil looks nasty in there. It always is. But yeah. I forgot to tell you guys, I finished my quad. Once I finished it, I drove it for two days. Where's that chain? Oh, it's on it. The chain just going right off. I'm gonna try fixing it just temporarily while I'm waiting for the new chain. No, yeah. Well, while waiting for, um, I don't know what we're waiting for, but let's just get this motor out. <laughs> questions how there goes or what goes or how do I get that part out easy let me know I pretty much well I really tear down two of these sleds I am young I guess I'm 13 well um, pretty much we gotta clean up the body now we got the motor out of the way now we just gotta clean up this body. It's dirty and everything. If anybody has any questions how I get that part out or anything, let me know. Comment on comment down below how do I get it out or whatever you need. I'm pretty sure I know how to. I think this is my what third one in two months. Cause the other one, my other one blew. I showed you guys in the other video. It didn't blow up. It was just... It just gave me a headache. The body was not the best. And it was just a piece of poop, so... 
Like, yeah, stripped it. Let's start cleaning this thing up. You gotta change the cane case oil on this. And uh, let's start cleaning. Well, guys and girls, I got it all out. That thing was a pain to get off. It was, you could see that it was cold. Like, just frosted on. That's how cold it was. And then my bolt snapped right through here. Which is nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's how it's going right now. We're back again. Uh, if you guys want to know how it looks without nothing on it, this is how it looks. That's their, apparently the 440s are way different than 340s. Never knew that. Well, we're about to wash it. This is the before. I'll show you guys the after.
what you guys can't see what I'm doing. This is so much sludge. It's so hard to take off. See how long it took just to get that off and it's still not clean? This is why whenever you get an old sled, always, always do this. If you want to have a long lasting sled. junk it's a lot well it's not clean i still gotta soap it scrub it but it's way cleaner as you can tell like it's not clean but it's cleaner way better well as you can see now it's a lot cleaner some spots i couldn't get off because like like this muck right here this sticky stuff, it won't come off unless I have the greaser. The greaser. I don't have that little stuff. But otherwise, it's way cleaner. I missed some spots. I gotta rewash it. Like, I gotta take this thing off because see under over there. I blowed it off. And, uh, well, it's way cleaner, I'll tell you that. I gotta repaint it. 
two day probably. It's way cleaner. I like it. As you can see, the back is not dirty anymore. Like, I gotta repaint this all. The guy I bought it for, well, either it was him or the original owner. They did not take care of this at all. As you can see. Then I had a, a 340, it's right here. I'll take it all apart, cause I don't know why, I was dumb. Well, I finished washing the sled, put it in the garage, as you can see, I washed it. It, it looks way cleaner, I gotta repaint the body. Like, this stuff is just old mud that was just stuck on, so it's, you can nothing about that. But, I gotta weld the nut now to this, cause this broke off, it was a screw, it snapped. But yeah, let's get to it then. Put it over here. Yeah. Well, I finally got it out. As you can see, I just drilled it and it came out. That was tough though. It took me like three minutes or more, I think. I don't know. Just to get this. Welding didn't help, but. Yeah, well, we're back again. I so clean this part off. Tried my best. I gotta repaint it now. Also, this comes off. Never knew that. But I had to wash it again because I grinded it down in some parts. So yeah, well, we're gonna repaint it. And I'll catch you back after it's painted. Well, I it's not clean paint see well that's the camera the camera doesn't really yeah i didn't blow it off fully apparently yeah well i tried to do the best as i can but i mean it, it covers up all the rust and everything so it will do for now it's a crappy job but then i primed this I primed it. It's not the paint that's going on it. It's just primer. So then I'll get the black paint because I ran out. And uh, start putting everything back together. I guess so. Because the front end is done. This whole front is done. Just got to do the back now. So I guess. Um, I mean these keys. It's really easy. If I grease them up. The grease is right there. Somebody really greased it, you can tell. But, yeah, let's start doing the front. Well, well, I am doing, I gotta, I forgot, I gotta clean the motor first. Not the inside, the outside. So we're taking the motor mount off. And then we're gonna pressure wash it, make it look clean. And we'll get back. <laughs> 